So yet another random series of events finds me in uh, Vienna, Austria today. Um, unfortunately, the country is starting to open back up from a 14-day lockdown, but they're doing it by city. Uh, most, of the countries op or most of the cities in the country open back up on the 13th, but in Vienna, most of it's not opening till the 20th, so a lot of the restaurants, pubs, things like this are still closed. However, the Christmas mark is open. Um, it's my first time in Vienna, funny enough. I've lived in Germany so long, I've never been to Vienna, and I've been to uh, Bratislava many times, which is Vienna's sister city. <clears throat> so I caught a flight to Vienna. Um, didn't really, didn't know that things were still locked down. I've never been to Vienna. This was kind of a last minute trip, uh, so I have to discover the city. I didn't really know where to go, so the first thing I did was hop a train uh, from my hotel and came to the, the Rathaus Platz, like the city administration uh, courthouse square. Uh, this is where the Christmas market's open. I'll spin you around. First, I'll show you big theater on the other side of the street. And then here's the Weinnachs market, a Christmas market. Uh, they just told me it's open till 10 o'clock in the evening, so I'm gonna do a little bit of running around the town today. Hit a couple of stores that I can't get to in Ukraine, and then I'll be back here at night because I wanna see the Christmas tree out in front of the cathedral here, here lit up at night. Um, I don't think a lot of the museums and stuff are open here either. So uh, fortunate, fortunately for me, I'm only here for one day. So this is definitely a city that's a, a two hour flight, short flight for me. And I will have to come back here in the spring or summer when things are open again. But for now, let's get out, let's walk around the city and check out Vienna. Okay, this reminds me exactly of the Christmas markets in Germany. And of course it is, everything here is written in German. I do miss the bakeries in Germany. Mondkuchen. Haven't seen that for a while. <laughs> Looks like Adele's coming and oh no we missed Adele. She was here the 19th of November. Not sure why the sign is still up. If you ever visit a Christmas market either in Germany or Austria, you have to try the Glutwein, which is the uh, hot spiced wine. I'm sorry, I think they are cleaning behind this uh, drop here. I hear like power washers, so it's kind of loud. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, but you have to try the Glutwein. Uh, they have the regular Glutwein. Uh, they have the, uh, uh, oh, here they are here in front of me. Uh, apple, uh, berry, uh, what else do we have here? Normally, the apple so normally they have uh, blueberry, uh, raspberry, and some different glue vines, but you have to try. I usually get them in a little uh, take-home souvenir cup. Looks like a boot or something, or a Christmas stocking as well. That's loud. I just wanted to get some views of the front of the cathedral. It's really beautiful cathedral. Whoa. Ah, uh, it looks like it's closed maybe for repairs or something, unfortunately. Any, any of you that follow me know that I love going in the uh, churches and cathedrals wherever I go. And if memory serves me correctly, I'm sure that um, um, Austria is predominantly Catholic. I'd really like to see that inside. Hopefully some of the other cathedrals around town are open though. Okay, upon closer inspection, that is not a cathedral. That is actually the Rathaus, the uh, like city administration building or courthouse. So, got that figured out. Uh, interesting when you're walking in the front gates here to the Christmas market they were checking for passports and COVID certificates <clears throat> so um, as I said Austria just came out of a two-week lockdown um, this is strictly for people who are vaccinated if you're unvaccinated you still can't use the restaurants or uh, bars or anything like that too so it's a push for the country to try to get everyone uh, vaccinated so even uh, the restaurants and things like this from what I understand are not, no longer accepting um, um, PCR test or COVID test as proof of uh, negativity. You either have to be vaccinated or you have to prove, uh, show some sort of documentation that you've recovered from COVID in the last six months. <clears throat> also, interestingly enough, um, you know, each country does their own thing as far as uh, COVID regulations. So the country of Austria only recognizes your um, shot, your uh, vaccine, up to 270 days after your second shot or in the case of Johnson Johnson, 270 days um, after receiving the single shot. Luckily for me, I did do the Johnson Johnson shot March 24th, I believe. So the day I entered uh, Austria was my 265th day. So I came in just under the wire uh, for them to still recognize my, my vaccination status. So, okay. I just ate, so I don't want to eat any of this stuff. And this looks like pretty much the same stuff I see in Germany. 
so I think I'm gonna leave the Christmas market, wander around town a little bit, and uh, like I said, just kind of check out the city. And uh, come back here when it gets a little darker at night, because I like the Christmas markets in the evening. Oh, here you go. <clears throat> I've noticed uh, pot, CBD, things like this are really big here. I even see there's uh, vending machines, like the old cigarette machines, but they're CBD and then and, and, uh, marijuana. <laughs> Pre-rolled, pre-packaged machines. You just put your uh, money in, it dispenses it right out to you. Okay, let's head out and check out the town. Ooh, soup bowls. Straight from the Christmas market here is the University of Vienna, Universität Wien. Funny enough, there is a coronavirus testing station right outside the university at one end of the steps. And at the other end of the steps is the University of Vienna shop. So you can get your sweatshirts, t-shirts, your billets, uh, billets, uh, wa wallets, billfolds, anything you want with the uh, university logo on it. Get this huge building here. It's named Victoria. Uh, Victoria Versicheron. Not sure what she did to have a building named after her, but she must be must be pretty popular. That's my bad attempt at humor. Versicheron is the German word for insurance, so it's Victoria Insurance. Thought I'd just try to be funny. As I am aimlessly walking down the side street here, I get excited. Because here in the distance, right here, I see a sign that says, The Pub. I already know by that sign, that is one of the pubs owned by the Pilsner Urquell Brewery in Pilsen Czech Republic, I believe. It looks like that sign. Yep, Pilsner Urquell, I can see it. Woohoo, I didn't know they had these here. It's one of my favorite beers. For those of you that don't know, that is the first Pils beer. The city of Pilsen is where Pils beer was invented. And just as I thought, it's closed. See, this is the problem. All the restaurants and pubs and things like this in the city are closed until the 20th. So I can't even get a beer unless I grab one. Grab one at like a, uh, these quick donor imbus to go, or if I go inside a drink mark or a grocery store and buy a beer to go. I can't even just sit down somewhere and have a beer. As I continue to aimlessly wander the streets, I walk into another little Christmas market here. Uh, so this is the Altweiner Christmas Market. So that's the Old Vienna Christmas Market. Um, cool thing I just found, the little, they've got two little booths set up here by the entrance. You go in, you show them your passport, COVID certificate, and you get one of these little uh, bands here for the Christmas markets. And uh, they actually work for any of the Christmas markets in the city. I didn't know that. So when I go back to the main Christmas market later, I don't have to re-show my uh, certificate everything I just show them the band so if you're gonna visit during the holiday season and Christmas markets are open be sure to grab one of these bands they're free to get I guess you can get them at any Christmas market look for these little signs here this 2g they operate off some weird system here called 2g and 3g 2g I know it stands for fully vaccinated so here you can uh, here's uh, the the Christmas market the the Viner the uh, Vienna Christmas market band uh, so they're, they're encouraging you to go get the band that way you don't have to keep uh, continually showing your uh, certificate. So if you are 2G, that means you're fully vaccinated and or have proof of recovery. They have the uh, Old Vienna uh, Christmas Punch. They have an English uh, Zitrona Punch, which is a uh, uh, lemon, <laughs> English lemon punch. They have the Swedish Punch, which is a, a glug, a Finnish, they call it glugi, which is their version of the uh, Christmas Punch. Uh, Eier liquor, so egg liquor punch. Uh, Chris Kendall, I think this is oh, AF alcohol free for kids. So to check one okay so it's actually not bad weather out here i'll take this hat off so i opted for the christmas punch comes in these little glasses so these aren't uh a lot of them look like little stockings these aren't stockings it's just a regular little glass uh, let me give it a shot here Ooh, it's a uh, spicy spiced wine hot wine with spices in it uh tastes like the regular glut wine so it was um four euro for the wine uh, they charge you a three euro fond to deposit on the glass so you can either take the glass back get your three euro back or you can keep the glass to take home for a souvenir okay just left the smaller Christmas market here um, it's kind of funny the way the different countries are reacting to a uh, coronavirus as far as uh, restrictive measures even cities in the countries so here in uh, in uh, Vienna uh, most of the city doesn't open back up until Monday so 
the businesses are closed, restaurants are closed, but the Christmas markets are open. In Germany, a lot of the Christmas markets are closed, but businesses and restaurants are open. <laughs> then you have places like Ukraine, where I live, uh, in case you don't follow my channel. So Christmas markets are open, restaurants are open, stores are open, nobody's vaccinated, whatever. So it's kind of funny to see. Now I'm just kind of trying to walk around the city. So there's a little Christmas market I just left, the old Vienna Christmas market. And ironically, there's another little Christmas market right up here. So I'm pretty much just aimlessly walking the city today because since most of the museums and restaurants and everything are closed, there's no point of me trying to, you know, really put out a schedule of what I want to see since I, I don't want, oh, that's pretty cool. But you know what, let's walk back here. The Fastel Passage. Oh, pretty cool here. There's a coffee shop people there. See, even a little coffee shop, so just to go, you're not allowed to sit inside. All the way at the end of the passage. Or actually, it probably goes all the way through, so this would be the middle of the passage. Here's the Weihnachtsmarkt am Hof, but unfortunately it's killing my panoramic view of the buildings behind it. Maybe I'll go see if that church is open. There's the Hyatt. Okay, of course the church is locked. This is the uh, Kish am Hof, the church am Hof. It looks like it was uh, first erected 1386 to 1403 is when they were started building it. Oh, uh, coronavirus, you're driving me crazy. Can I check this door? Maybe it's open. <laughs> okay, it's really driving me nuts because if I was in some of the other cities in uh, Austria, they opened up on the 13th for fully vaccinated people. They don't, like I said before, they don't open until the 20th here. So this is, uh, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Cause I've never been here. I want to go out, I want to go in some of these buildings and see some things. So I guess uh, the walk continues. Of course, the uh, St. Laurent and Prada stores are open. None of the historical buildings, museums, or anything like that are open. None of the normal department stores are open, but the high-end ones are open. Imagine that. This is actually a pretty popular store I've seen in some of the countries I've traveled. It's called Louis Vuitton, and uh, it's really popular. So popular, there's a line outside to get in. I guess because of coronavirus, they also have a restriction on the count or number of people allowed inside. Rolex, of course it's open. Burberry, Giorgio Armani, Cartier, Fendi, Gucci. Imagine that, they're all open. So I see this uh, cathedral here. It looks like the doors are open, so hopefully I can go in. kind of a quick film in there. At least I could get inside. They're getting ready to start service. So I didn't want to walk down by the altar. In fact, you can see like a lot of people are starting to walk in for the service right now. But uh, at least it's open. I got to go and see one of the churches. It looked pretty cool. They had the down by the altar, a bunch of the Christmas stuff set up. So if my German was a little better. I'd probably <laughs> sit in there for service, but I don't know how long it'll last. And uh, it's my only full day here. So I want to get out, still see some stuff while I have time. pretty impressive hopefully that's open as well okay so the cathedral behind me is open this is the st. Stephen's Cathedral it is a Catholic Cathedral uh, construction began on it in 1137 it was consecrated as the first Roman, Roman Church of I say Saint what did I just say St. Peter's the same whatever I just said sorry uh, it was consecrated as this church in 1147 I don't have an FFP2 or 2P mask I only have my regular cloth mask they want that special mask to get in, so I may get turned around real quick. If so, I think I could probably buy one of those masks at like a drugstore. 
but uh, if not, I'm going to try to go in with my regular cloth mask. So let's go, uh, let's go check it out. That was uh, St. Stephen's Church. Sorry for screwing that name up earlier. Um, general admittance to get admitted. General admittance. Admittance. It's free to get in to where I just was. Um, you can take like guided tours of the different towers, or there's an all-inclusive ticket that takes you to both towers and then somewhere else. Um, I went down the left side. I was starting to go down to the back of the church, and there was a security guard down there, not messing with people, but he was trying to get people to fill out these surveys. <laughs> so I steered away from that. So. Um, around look at this on the outside or a lot of this uh, lattice work I forget what they call this stuff the like the the Baroque period a lot of this reminds me of the uh, cathedrals like well Notre Dame and then especially some of this is the, the cathedrals in Prague is what it reminds me of the old uh, the gothic style I think is what I'm trying to say I'm gonna walk into this city park because it looked kind of cool it's funny it says Hunde Verbot Dog's forbidden. Dog, dog. Saw another guy walking here with a greyhound. So I'm sure we're probably gonna see quite a few dogs here. Just saw a sign back there that said this park was uh, founded in 1863. Our garden, unser Ah, this is a memorial to Johann Strauss. Kind of cool uh, architecture here. Football club down there doing calisthenics. Enjoy it while you're young, fellas. Christmas market at night, let's see what it looks like. It's funny I show you this line. See this, this line of people right here waiting to use the only ATM here. So uh, yeah. So if you're gonna see this video while the Christmas market's still open and you're coming, get cash before you come. Alright, let's go check it out. I guess there's something next door, uh, see a Ferris wheel? But here's the entrance where you have to get in, so it's something different from the Christmas market. Quite a few more people in the evening. This is the Austrian version of a German pretzel, I guess. Those are the huge. Ooh, Nutella pretzel. <laughs> kind of cool. It's a, it's a uh, stand with this. Walk right in front of me and stand early. <clears throat> it's a fa uh, stand with chocolate fountains. You get different flavored chocolates and then the little cups with uh, fruit and a little piece of candy in them and then they run chocolate into them. Yeah, I got another glute wine. Comes in a little heart cup, heart mug. So, see how this one is. Not as spicy as the stuff earlier, so good. The stuff earlier was a little maybe too spicy. Let's spin around here. Ooh, donuts. No, they're not donuts. Oh, they're, it's all handmade candy. Everything honey. 
even have glute wine made with honey. Okay, there's one of the entrances. So this is outside the Christmas market. I'm not sure what all this is over here. Realize it's virtually impossible for me to hold the uh, mug of uh, glute vine in one hand and then try to turn my camera on and film in the other hand. So I had to get rid of that. Now I'm gonna try to find something to eat. Oh, they even have matros matroskas, or nesting dolls, as you call them in the states. Everything made by wood. Something I'd never seen before. Kernel pizza. These are pizzas they put inside cones. See the little cones right there? And they put all the different uh, ingredients inside. I have never seen that. My pizza roll, this is what it looks like. <laughs> but it's hot right now and I'm not gonna scald my mouth. So uh, just thought I'd show you guys what it looks like and I'll let you know how it is after I'm finished. Walk back down to the smaller Christmas market that I was at earlier today in the Old Town. And I'm getting ready to partake in one of my favorite Christmas traditions, beer. So I guess I found it's a Stiegel. Salzburg, so I guess this is a uh, uh, Austrian beer out of Salzburg. Stiegel, Goldbräu, so a golden, golden brew. So let's check it out. It's a small batch whiskey and uh, gin, local alcohol there. Oh, this is like a butcher of Mitzgerei. And cheese. This food smells pretty good. I'm looking at what everybody's eating. He's eating a goulash out of a bread bowl. Uh, I'm randomly walking the streets and I see this place, but I, it's closed too. Irish pub. Okay, what you're about to see is a grown man lay down in the middle of the street here and start kicking and screaming like a baby. This is driving me crazy. I just want to sit down someplace warm and have a beer instead of sitting outside the Christmas markets. I don't want to keep drinking that uh, uh, glute vine to punch because it's just it's a lot of sugar in it. And it's too cold to stand out and drink beer. So it's maybe a short night. Okay, I'm kind of back down where I was earlier today by the Louis Vuitton store and Rolex and all that. Um, I forgot to tell you that last little Christmas market I just came out of, when I was walking in, uh, a guy had walked in and then turned around and was taking a picture of the security guard. The security guard like slammed him up against the wall and was yelling at him like, I would, I, you know, if a guy would have grabbed me like that in public, yeah, we'd be having, wor oh, we'd have more words. Anyway, I thought I'd tell you that. Um, besides the Christmas markets, there's a bunch of these smaller little booths around town. Like by the Altstadt, the Old Town Christmas Market, there was a Mal Maltese, Maltese. It's a German, almost like a Red Cross type organization. Then here I see there's a Kiwanis, and right next to that is Lions Club. So I guess these different organizations, um, they also have their uh, little glute vine, you know, uh, shacks or, or booths or whatever you call these to help raise money for the, the clubs. So this is the, uh, the region of uh, the city. Uh, where are we? <laughs> Vienna, the region of the city, Belvedere. So this is the Lions Club, uh, Vienna, Belvedere. Go walk over there and see what all they have exactly. Okay, they pretty much both have the same stuff. They have some stuff to eat, like uh, some breads and small snacks, uh, pretzels, things like this. And then uh, they have, one has orange punch, the other one has lion's punch. I'm not sure what that is. Lion's light punch, well, oh, with a uh, little alcohol. So uh, then a kinder punch with uh, no alcohol. So I'm gonna go over here and try one of the, one of the glute vines from the Lion's Club. And it looks like here they put them in uh, styrofoam cups to go, not the little souvenir glasses. Okay, so this is what they put the uh, in, and here they they have a hot. It's a it's it's an apple punch. It's not apple wine like the German apple wine. It's not apple cider, but it's a it's definitely it's a hot spiced wine made of apples. But it's uh, um, the only it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it has a lot of sugar. And so any of you that, that know me personally know that I, I I don't eat sugar. I don't eat processed sugar. So all this hot wine everywhere I get loaded down with sugar. So. <laughs> I think I need to, to get away from it for the evening. I'm making my way back to the hotel and I just saw something that I've shown you in some of my other videos but I didn't realize it was here. This is outside a, of an apartment building. So um, these were some of the, the Jewish people during the Holocaust uh, that it were removed. This uh, Dr. Joseph, uh, Joseph Boom. Um, here he was uh, deported to Auschwitz on 28 uh, October 1944. 
some of them will say they actually died there uh, deported 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 because I don't see where it showed they actually died but um, in a lot of these countries over here you know Germany um, Germany Austria I've seen them in Poland um, it basically any of the countries where the the Jewish people were rounded up and sent off to camps a lot of times they will put memorial placards in the ground outside their apartments so that's the first one I saw here just thought I'd point it out to you guys Okay, I'm headed back to the hotel, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. Um, kind of sucks, my first time in Vienna, and everything's closed. Uh, it's just, you know, part of the coronavirus thing. Uh, I'm only here for one day. I actually just had to leave Ukraine to get a re-entry stamp on my passport. I needed to find somewhere quick to go. So, luck of the draw, I guess. Um, definitely a cool city, definitely some place I will come back to when it gets a little warmer, when everything's open, because there's a Belvedere Schloss, a Belvedere Castle, there's another castle, a bunch of museums I wanna go to here. So um, only a two-hour flight from Kiev, uh, round trip, 80 bucks on, uh, who did I fly on, Ryanair, I think. Uh, so close destination, it's cheap, um, easy to get around the city by public transport. So definitely someplace I want to come back to when it gets a little warmer. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Thanks for watching as always, and see you soon.